Hello, I'm Cathy Newman, and I'm a patron of KIDS, a leading disability charity in the UK. 10% of UK families have a disabled child. A third live in poverty, so KIDS is seeing a massive increase in demand for their services. This is a really desperate situation for children who have additional health and emotional needs, particularly as most of their trusted face-to-face -face support services aren't taking place. Many disabled children and their families are simply at crisis point. Across the country, parents are juggling working at home with providing homeschooling. Now, in any situation, this is hard. But if you're the parent of a disabled child who needs significant care, it's frankly all but impossible. Please, join me in supporting kids if you possibly can. COVID-19 has brought many changes, some far exceeding any expectation. All staff wear PPE. Communities have come together to make us reusable and compliant face masks which are much less clinical looking and much more environmentally friendly. They've also made us fairs which have helped our young people to accept some of the changes around them. Kids Family Centre has remained open for key children during lockdown and we've recently been able to welcome back more children to the setting. For those children who do remain at home, staff have been making weekly phone calls and um, we've recently delivered some home learning packs to children. I think the one thing that mainly came out of this is that we had to then roll our nursery out, out into our community and into the families we work with. And this was more the families that were blowing closed doors um, and we had to really go and support them. And it was even things like giving them a phone call in the morning in the first few weeks of the pandemic and say, are you OK? I remember phoning one mum and she said she hadn't got any milk. So she couldn't do a cup of tea. She couldn't get any milk on the cereals. So one of our senior members of staff decided to walk back out and went and got one milk and put some on her doorstep. That was a lifeline, she said to her. And I never understood why she said lifeline. But now further on down a few weeks, I get that. What a lot of families have said, we have been their lifeline. We've also been making little cookery videos for our young people to participate in. And they seem to have really enjoyed this and been sharing photos of their cooking and receiving star cook certificates. Was it easy or hard? What do we say to Wendy? I love you. I love you. Bye. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Jade. And today I'm going to share a story with you from inside my big den. It's so cosy in here. Everyone, everyone, where are you? Where are you? Oh, should we press the button? Here I am. Wow. Here I am. How do you do? Good morning, everyone. Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, I thought today would be the first day when we started to do an activity that would help you. This is my lovely assistant, Christina, who is my daughter. Say hi. Hi. Okay, she has Down syndrome and autism, so let's see how this goes. For the next few hours, we are going to be we are going to be seeing how much you you guys have got so much talent inside. <laughs> pop star in the making you've got such a powerful voice you were paused but you've got back up there and you gave it your all and for that yeah. reason i am going to give you a big golden buzz wow. <laughs> we've enjoyed watching the videos all together as a family and during the phone calls they always asked how we are <laughs> as a family not just how Theo is, and they've been there to listen to any concerns <laughs> or any worries that, that we may have. Hi, my name is Mike, and kids have helped us as a family, providing support through COVID-19 crisis by giving us respite where possible and enabling myself to do simple tasks, such as shopping, which has otherwise been really difficult with my son's behavioural needs. Kids have helped me because I can keep in touch with my friends and there's always someone for me to talk to 
so I so I don't feel stressed or lonely. I love the Facebook group and I feel good for a day post. It helped me feel supported and able to keep going. I love kids. And we are very grateful. We just like to say thank you kids. Finally, I'd just like to thank everyone at Kids for helping us over the years. You are a fantastic service.